My name is Sister Antonia David. I'm the administrator of the Holy Family Children's Home in Cicero, St. Lucia. The Holy Family Children's Home was opened 16 years ago um, for children who are abused, abandoned, and neglected. Um, it's temporary placement for children while um, social services work with their parents to see if they, they can, um, the children can return to them after a while or the children could be placed in foster care or adoption. Many of the, the young persons who come to us, um, their parents, especially the mothers, have dropped out of school, um, get pregnant very early and have many children. A lot of them do not have the support from the fathers, so they're not able to um, meet the needs of their children because many times that they have never worked, they do not have the qualifications necessary to, to get a job so that they can take care of themselves and the house and the children. Um, some of the, the, the parents, especially the mothers, are in domestic violence relationships. Um, most of, of the time, the children too are um, being abused. One of the cases that, that, that sticks in my mind right now um, is this little girl who came to us when she was about three years old. Um, she had been sexually abused. We don't know from, from how early in her life. Her mother um, abandoned her. In fact, she, she, she dropped her for the father and the father dropped her for an elderly lady. So we know along the way, we're not sure where the abuse took place, but we knew she was um, sexually abused. When she came to us, she wouldn't sit on a chair. She was um, curly, always curled up on the floor. And we had to w really work a lot with her to, to kind of get her out of it. Um, she was not very sociable. Um, she wouldn't, you know, take on to people very easily. So we knew that she, she had really been through a lot in her life. Um, even up to now, we, we have to continue working with her as a teenager. So, you, you know, everything that, that um, you go through in life, it, it, it follows you. And so you have to keep getting assistance to kind of get out of it. Initially, um, children would come in to us from persons outside. If somebody find, found a child that was um, being abused or um, locked up in a house for some reason and the parents were not looking after them, then it would be brought to our attention or the persons would bring the children to our gate. Um, other times the police would bring them in. But the difficulty that we had with that, um, we had no documentation on the children and for sometimes an extended period, we didn't know who the child was, we couldn't send them to school or, or do the necessary things for them. So now we work with the Division of Human Services for all our children. So they come in and go out for the Division of Human Services. Everything that parents do for their children, um, take care of their nutrition, um, their physical needs, their health needs, if they require counseling, um, they need to attend school. Everything that, that parents would do for the children in a normal home, we do for the children here at the Holy Family Children's Home. We have presently 13 children, nine of whom are teenagers, but there's nowhere else for them to go to. And these children have been with us from the time they were very young, some of them as young as a few months and one year old. Um, so you know you can't throw them off the street you have to 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 try to help them as best as you can so that they could make their contribution to society in here is our living room um, that's where the children sit to watch television to read a nice book and also just for chit chat this is our little study room um, most of our children are teenagers now and so they have homework to do on the computers with internet research and so um, they also need a little quiet area so that they could get their work done. So that is what we have in here. But because it is so small, we can only put two computers in at a time and have 
you know, a limited number of children, so we have, they have to take turns to come to do their work in here. In here is the typical bedroom of our children at the Holy Family Children's Home. We have two bunk beds in here accommodating four teenagers and it is quite challenging to cope with four teenagers in a room. But that, that is what we can offer right now so that is why we are appealing to persons to see how best um, you can assist us in building a bigger home in having more space so that we can accommodate the children properly. It is vital that we continue to, to do the work that we're doing to change the lives of children in St. Lucia. Um, I think if, if we were not here, many children would continue to be challenged and probably not even make it in life. 40 EC dollars, which is the equivalent of 10 pounds, I would help to feed one of our children for about a week here in St. Lucia. And so we are always very grateful um, to receive the assistance of other people who see the, the need to continue to contribute to the, the life and, and the betterment of, of persons around who are truly the future of the whole world, our young people.